Hi, and welcome to Happy Creating with Mrs. G. Today we're going to learn about a new artist named Dasik Fernandez. We'll even create a work of art that looks like dripping paint inspired by his artwork. I hope you enjoy. Happy creating! Dasik Fernandez is a Chilean-born street artist living in New York. His large-scale murals are bright in color and connect Fernandez with people while he is painting outside. A common idea that can be observed in Dasik's art is drips of paint, or the paint seeming as though it is dripping upwards in his artwork. Let's create our own works of art of dripping paint. Here we go. We're going to use curved lines a lot in drawing drips of paint. So really, you're going to draw a curved line that starts on the left side of your paper, and it moves up and down, up and down, and extends all the way to the right side of your paper. We want to make our drips extend all the way down the page. We're going to have a couple of different layers of drips. So now we're going to make a second curved line in the middle of the page. We're going to start again on the left side of the page and that curved line is going to go up and down, up and down as it goes across the page. You're going to do that one more time. Now we're going to make our drips look a little bit more 3D by adding a shadow. On the left side of all of your drips, you're going to make a curved line that matches the shape of the drip. So again, on the left side of each drip that's hanging down, you're going to make a space for the shadow of the drip. We're going to make it look a little bit more 3D. You're going to Make this mark on each drip that's hanging down throughout all the page. You're also going to add a highlight where the light can appear to be shining on the paint. So just as you added a shadow on each drip, now let's add a highlight or two highlights on each of the drips that are hanging down. And again, this is something that you're going to do on all of the drips throughout the rest of the page. So continue adding those throughout your art. And again, pause at any time. Now use marker to add color. Use a lighter color to color in the drips of paint and maybe a darker color or darker shade of that color to add the shadow. And leave the highlights white. I hope you had fun learning about a new artist and creating a piece of art inspired by Dasik Fernandez. Happy creating!